Okay, so this is a question that featured in the AS sample paper that was given to us by AQA just before the relaunch of the uh, the specification or the launch of the new specification effectively. And it says, what is the responsibilities or what responsibilities does a manufacturer have to ensure the safety of employees? And it was an eight mark question. So it'll probably take us around about 12 minutes, something like that, okay? So one of the key things that you'll notice, hopefully about this question, is it's talking about the uh, Health and Safety at Work Act, HASW 1974. And uh, this act basically sets out for a range of people who, who work in a workplace or uh, really the employers and the people who manage the workplace that their staff their employees the people who work there have to be safe okay so what does it actually mean well if if you went in and read the entire policy uh, there was a, there's an extensive section on exactly what needs to be done but you could broadly break down um, the the requirements for these people um, the employers and uh, the site managers and things like this into these categories uh, just on the, the sheet here. Okay, so what I've broken down there is COSH, which is uh, the acronym for Control of Substances Hazardous to Health, things like glues and solvents and things like this. Uh, signage, uh, adequate signage and uh, labeling, fire exits, all that sort of stuff. Staff training, ensuring that your staff are all trained and know exactly what they're uh, doing with their tools, with their machinery, or in the case of a first aid emergency, for example. Uh, guards on machines and equipment and stuff to ensure workers don't injure themselves unnecessarily. Uh, PPE, personal protective equipment, aprons, gloves, gauntlets, uh, all these sorts of things, breathing apparatus to protect the employees as they work. Uh, risk assessment, obviously, which is carried out to mitigate risk and uh, ensure it doesn't happen and ensure there are measures uh, there to ensure the safety of workers if they do, unfortunately, happen in the workplace. Uh, extraction of fumes, dust, hazardous uh, things to breathe in and things like this. And obviously, just generally speaking about safe environment, ensuring that we haven't got trip hazards and things like this. Okay, So there's obviously a lot you could talk about. Okay, If you get a question like uh, what we've got here at the top, we could basically pick out any one of these or a few of these really um, and if we discuss these in detail we'll easily get our eight marks okay so there's a lot of points there but in the in the case of an exam situation how exactly would you remember all these uh, things well um, hopefully by remembering this mnemonic or this phrase gosh signs train guards personally maintain a risk of extraction from the environment gosh signs Train guards personally maintain a risk of extraction from the environment. Now, it's a bit of a silly phrase, um, but hopefully you might be able to remember it. And you might remember it a bit easier by thinking about uh, this guy and this alien spaceship, effectively. Okay, so this guy is a train guard, that's what we're saying. And he's at risk of being extracted from the aliens here. So he's saying, gosh, he's like uh, scared. Now, gosh, obviously, doesn't relate to the word gosh. It relates to the acronym COSH. So we could say COSH signs, I suppose, okay? Signs, we're talking there about signage. Train is training for our workers, our employees, okay? Guards relates to the guards that we need to have on machines to ensure people don't get injured. Personally is abbreviation there of the word, or the letters PPE, personal protective equipment, making sure people have gloves, hats, whatever they need to, to wear uh, to keep them safe, hard hats and things, okay? Uh, maintain relates to the maintenance of machines and equipment to ensure they're in good working order and they're safe. Risk relates to uh, the, the concept of risk assessment, having a risk assessment in place to mitigate risk and to uh, ensure workers know what to do if there is a risk that, that occurs or something um, um, occurs that it breaches the risk effectively. Uh, extraction relating to the, the extraction of fumes and dust and dangerous particles and obviously the environment there we talked about the general overview of the environment to ensure that uh, it's safe there's no trip hazards there's no poor lighting for example that might make it harder to work or might uh, cause injury to workers that way okay so if we, you can re remember that phrase gosh signs or gosh signs yeah train guards personally maintain a risk of extraction from the environment hopefully we can remember all of these kind of key things uh, that we're doing in this question okay so uh, have a little go at this question in a second so it's a, an eight marker um, should take you I think 12 minutes maybe a little bit generous but we'll say 12 minutes that gives you about a minute and a half mark it's around about the sort of time that you would need in the exam and then use the sort of general tips that I'd say uh, going through it okay so what I would say is reword the question in the answer 
So I might say, in this question, I'll be discussing the responsibilities a manufacturer has to ensure the safety of their employees. Think about the mnemonic and pick out points. Now it's an eight mark question, so we'll probably want at least four points that are kind of uh, explained and justified and discussed in detail. And you might uh, think about using like that point evidence explanation model that I've talked about in other videos. So make your point. So one responsibility a manufacturer has is training of its employees, for example. Give some evidence. So employees might need training in the use of machinery or tools or health and safety or first aid or something like that and then give maybe a, a justification or an example of that as well so training would reduce accidents through the misuse or the human error when they're I don't know laser cutting or welding or whatever the, the the process might be or whatever you're talking about and obviously as I've talked about also before try to vary your use of connectives as you go through so there's a page of connectives uh, on this um, PowerPoint, I'll show it in, in a second so you can just see some of those. You can obviously pause it and have a look at those as you're going through, okay? So there we have a list of connectives so we can talk about things where we're going in addition, talks about time, sequence, and so on and so forth. And it just means that we're not saying, and the next point is, and the next point is, and another requirement, and another requirement. For example, we can vary the connectives. It makes the work a lot easier. So have a go at the question there, and then we'll talk about the answers in a second. Okay, so hopefully uh, you followed the kind of uh, my, my guidance there and uh, you, you kind of got a lot of points and you could remember the mnemonic when you was answering the question. But here we have a list of content. So the things that you might have talked about where you'd probably be getting sort of like two marks for each of these points if you put a point and you'd evidence and uh, give examples of, of the points as we're going through, okay? So if you've got four from this list and you've kind of used your connectives wisely and sensibly and it makes sense, you've probably done quite well in this question. Okay, so there we go. We've got a, a summary of the things that we could have talked about um, that stipulated in the Health and Safety Work Act to ensure that employers uh, have a safe uh, environment for their workers and that their workers stay safe okay so have a little look at those uh, if there's any that you missed maybe uh, sort of uh, try and remember those give yourself a bit of um, uh, practice on those and obviously you can see what I've done here is I've linked uh, the individual points to words that they are on the mnemonic so you can see how they're kind of related as they're going through okay so I hope you've done well on that question hope you got full marks uh, but if you didn't maybe have a little look through this and uh, practice again okay